the channel. Today we're going to do a drill for both players and coaches, okay? One of the common questions I get from players is, how do I know I've got my positioning right and I'm cutting the angles right, okay? So this is going to bring that understanding from a player's perspective and from a coach, how we ensure that we are getting that line and how we can make that visual for the goalkeeper, okay? So, as per usual, we've got the usual suspects over there. We've got Ryan Linton, Thornton Hibbs, Junior's goalkeeper. And we've got Callum Sutherland, Newbridge Junior's goalkeeper. Okay? Shout out Dennis Perry on the camera as well. Okay? So, our basic visual here, what we've got. Yellow representing the goalkeeper's line through the ball. Okay? Now, well, guys, this works for any angle, okay? And you've just got to think that that yellow line will move with the ball, okay? We'll do it quite static at the moment and we'll progress it on. What the orange signifies is the back post and the near post, okay? Now, this is a fairly easy angle to do it from, so you just need to try and, when you progress the drill, try and uh, make that work visually between you and your goalkeeper, okay? But what we're looking at here, you follow me in, if you can imagine... The ball's starting over there, OK? And we'll play a Fogs ball in a minute. But if you can imagine the ball's over there, and that ball gets played across, OK? More often than not, what you see from goalkeepers, you know, depending on the experience or the levels uh, the goalkeeper's at, as the ball come across, there'll be two steps of adjustment, and that'll kind of be out, OK? They might step forward, they might not, but the, the moral of the story is, a ball getting switched across the area doesn't just justify two steps, OK? Because we won't be in the ball line. So we'll play a false ball in a minute and bring that to life. What we should be looking for is that lateral movement that's going to take the goalkeeper across, right in the ball line to where it's going to come, looking at the line from the near post, the line from the back post, then bringing it in at an angle for it to then come straight in with the ball. And as you can see with our yelly, that's the line of the goalkeeper for it to represent that, OK? So we've got the picture. If the ball moves, the yellow line moves with it. But so does the orange line, okay? So in this case, the orange line would go, if the ball was gone left, um, right to left or left to right, you've just got to visualise that orange line move with it as well. And you could use that in the drill, you can move your lines about, okay? We're not going to do that today, we're just going to show you how it works from this angle. So the, there's two elements to this drill. There's the line for the goalkeeper through the ball, but there's also that attacking the ball you may have seen in a previous video, okay? Attacking the ball in that other angle is key. So if we get the camera to go out next to the ball for a minute, Positioning and angles. And we'll start bringing the goalkeepers in in a minute to really show that okay with some simple stuff. But what we'll be looking for is that lateral movement to turn, that coming forward to the ball, and that take so it's easy for the goalkeeper where it's not a big dive to guard the near post, and it's hopefully just a side step to the back post, or it's a simple attack the ball with that leg forward and take. Okay? That's a couple of things we're going to be looking for for the goalkeepers today. So we'll bring the goalkeepers in. We won't do the false ball at this moment in time. We'll literally just bring that lateral movement into play, get in that position, three or four steps forward and take that ball. And hopefully you should see that angle really starting to get cut, OK? So we'll do lateral movement coming across. Oh, in. That's just that simple side step to guard that near, po eh, that near post, OK? Next keeper in, go. Lateral movement in through the goal line. Easy take. Don't forget to step into that, though. Go. Next one up. Go. Okay. So now we've got the basic movement going. We're going to create a false ball situation. So we'll get one of the goalkeepers to go out there and play the false ball. All I want you to do, Ryan, play that false ball into me. I want that ball come across. Try and go out the phone so. Play the false ball into me. Try it. And I'll take my ball for hands and feed the goalkeeper, okay? So false ball, we'll let that go through, the goalkeeper will come, he'll take that ball. The goalkeeper will go through the ball, yeah, okay? So it's that lateral movement we expect for the goalkeeper. So that's the danger at the moment in time. So realistically, just come and set. What we're looking for here as well, we're looking for that set position, okay? Leaning forward like we spoke about in previous videos. All the strength coming down through the core to stabilise us, looking for that explosiveness off the calf, first of all, into the outside leg. 
and then explode across if we need to in there, okay? Getting set, false ball comes across. Don't worry about that, keep on set. Okay, much better. Good choice from the basket there, okay? Next goalkeeper in. Okay, false ball comes in. Lateral movement, keeper comes through to it. Nice, good Okay, last one. False ball comes through. Coming in, set. Okay, nice Slight adjustment takes it well. Because we've narrowed that angle, we've got our position right, it just makes it far easier, okay? So don't forget that's what we're looking for. Back post, near post, almost picture drawn two lines that takes you at that angle diagonally right into that ball, and then picture that yellow line where the goalkeeper should be should come straight through the middle. So again, picture if the ball moves, that false setup and chicane just swings with it, okay? One final thing we're going to do is a bit of progression. What we'll look at doing now is we'll take the cones away and we'll do it from an angle, but we'll also show how it could benefit you from straight on, okay, for things like one-on-ones or shots and cutbacks, okay? Guys, right, so as you can see, we've removed the visual aids. We're going to go live with this. So there's no longer a false ball. The ball that's in play is very much live, okay? And it's up to the goalkeeper now to make that alignment, get that position, and um, narrow that angle, okay? So we're going to do this live and see how it goes. Looking for lateral movement, narrow the angle, coming out and attacking that ball. Well, nice easy take, okay? I would have just like to maybe see a knee coming down there if possible. Maybe it's a coaching point. Put a bit more of a take like this. Ball comes in. Then we're going to match the goalkeeper's position's fine. We've broke that angle. Now we've got the, the alignment of the ball. Now if we look to play that either side. Okay, now if we play that ball and stay straight down the middle, we're going to really prove that we've got the angle right here now by playing it at the side, and it should be comfortable for the goalkeeper at the near post or the back post, okay? Ball comes in. Nice and easy, okay? All we have to do, no real explosion, just has to make sure that the hands and the body's in behind the ball. When we're coming from the other side, I would almost expect a simple sidestep to get into the ball, or a little collapse that takes from there. Wouldn't need too much explosion. Okay. Ball comes in. There we go. Okay. And that's gone right to the back post there. Aiming for that back post. Okay, so ball, ball's going to come in. Nice and easy. We're going to hit that back post. Shouldn't take too much. There it is. Three arm, okay. Now we're really starting to get that angle. Now we start looking at that for the cut back scenario. The key part here is still going to be that lateral movement, but we're more central now, okay? So it's more natural for the goalkeeper because, one, the penalty spot's there, and two, you're familiar enough with your goal, you know when you're in the middle, just coming straight through with this, okay? But what the key part here is, it's that coming forward to make the goal, the goal smaller and making yourself bigger. So by the time he comes out, explodes, makes himself big, okay? That's what we're looking for. So ball comes across, goalkeeper comes out. In this instance, Ryan will make you sell big, and it should be fairly comfortable. So, comes out, so no, it's right down the middle. This one, I'm just going to put it on the other side. We're just looking for it being big, or we're looking for putting it out in safety areas, okay? When we're repelling the ball instead of retaining, it must be safe. Ball comes out, goalkeeper it closed. There Goalkeeper's out, fairly comfortable. Last one. Goalkeeper's out, ball comes in. Okay. Stepping a little bit closer to the goalkeeper. Ball comes in. Goalkeeper comes in. There we go. No, there's absolutely no chance. Now the goalkeeper's injured, but we'll go we'll about that in a minute. We have to put our bodies on the line, okay? But the point is, Ryan's made the save at all costs. The ball's out safe. He's not conceded a goal. I'm not quite sure how he's going to be, okay? <laughs> So goalkeeper's come out there, he's narrowed the angle, and he's made it a fairly comfortable save. Now that looks like it's gone down the middle, but he's so close to me, he's narrowed the angle so much, okay, that if that ball was going left or right, it's not getting a chance, because he's so far down my throat, he's narrowed the angle, he's got his position spot on, and that's what we're trying to get out of that drill, okay? So you guys, if you like that drill, don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll put down in the description how you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you very much for watching.